Rose, and I'm back for part two of this video, which I have no idea what I look like because I am not looking at the selfie part of the camera. I am looking at the back end of the camera, and I only hope you can see me properly. Okay, so today we're continuing with part two of the ironing video. And so let me just figure out where I should be putting this. Uh, this time I have the camera properly oriented. Uh, because last time I had intended to be shooting this way, but then I ended up always turning the pictures this way. And anyway, that was a mess. I'm hoping to do better this time. Okay, so um, this one is uh, from Cotart. It's number 236. And I got it on Amazon. And it is perfect. So I don't need to iron that one. And then here, uh, we have another one, which I don't need to iron, because it too is perfect. And this one here, it's a mandala, I call it the mandala flower, and I got it from Cuff W. Key. So I think that's a really, really pretty image. And I'm sorry about the teeny tiny little thumbnail. Um, and I was just going to say, oh my God, it's got guide circles, but no, it doesn't. It's a square diamond painting, uh, but uh, the, I guess the, the background color, the white, is, is it white or 3865? Eh, it's 3865, is O's. So that's why it looks like guide circles. It's not guide circles. Anyway, uh, it is in perfect shape, and Cuff W Key, for those of you... Um, who, you know, I, I get asked on a regular basis, what are some of your favorite diamond painting stores? And Cuff W, sorry, I'm just trying to figure out which way I'm laying my diamond paintings down so that I can just slide them into the folder without having to, um, you know, swirl them around. Um, Cuff W Key on AliExpress is one of my favorite stores. I really, really like it. So this one here came from My Home Life on AliExpress and these are all diamond paintings that I bought during the Black Friday sale and the 1111 sale of 2019. Uh, now I have not yet done unboxing videos for, well I've done all the unboxing videos but I haven't actually uploaded all of the videos for the uh, purchases that I made last year. So during the 11.11 sale and the Black Friday sale. So those ones I'm going to be releasing just slowly over the course of time. So if you watch everything that I do on this channel and you say, I've never seen that diamond painting yet, it's because you're getting a sneak preview because I haven't actually posted the unboxing video for it yet. So I need to flatten out the cover plastic on this. So I'm just going to get um, my bone folder so that I can do that. I mean, it's not it, it's not going to hurt the diamond painting, but since I'm here and since I am doing what I can to perfect my stash, I may as well. So. So for those of you that are uh, new to my channel, this is part two of what I think is going to be at least a four part uh, video. Um, and what I'm doing is <laughs> supposedly I am ironing my diamond painting canvases, although so far today I haven't needed to. Oh, this is another one that I got during the Black Friday sale or 11-11, I don't know which, last year on AliExpress. And um, I call it the stained glass octopus. Now you may have seen this diamond painting, or not this diamond painting, but this painting everywhere. Because when I was searching to see whether it was a stolen image, I found that it is uh, used on cell phone covers. It is used everywhere. Uh, and so I thought, must be safe. I wasn't able to find any information about the artist so I'm assuming that it's a good image to use. 
uh, but I really liked it. Um, it is a 40 by 52, uh, and it's a square drill diamond painting. It's got quite a few colors. I don't know how many. And this one comes from the Mia Odu store, and I have not yet uh, posted the video for this one either. So this one also arrived in absolutely perfect condition. And then I have another one from the Mia Odu store, and I don't think that I've posted this one yet. It is the Hogwarts um, school crests, and um, or the, the crest for the school, which has all of the houses in it. And this is meant for um, my daughter's best friend here in Ottawa. Uh, and again, it is in perfect shape. I'm super happy with it. Uh, and now we get into the diamond paintings that I got in a great big huge purchase that I made from Fancel's last February. Well, this year in February. And um, I think I ordered like 57 or 59 diamond paintings. And they were all special shaped diamond paintings because I just got in a mood where I wanted to do a whole bunch of uh, special shaped diamond paintings. And so some of these I've posted the unboxing videos for, and some of them I haven't yet. Uh, so I'll be posting them, I think three diamond paintings at a time when I post the videos. I'm just sort of like smashing three videos together so that, you know, you have like a half hour or 45 minute video uh, instead of, you know, a bunch of nine or 10 minute videos. And um, so, yeah, you'll be seeing the details on this, but um, I thought this was beautiful. It's a 40 by 50, and um, it's going to be a blast to do. Um, there's the image. Well, it's actually, it doesn't show very well. Yeah, it doesn't show very well, but this is going to be absolutely spectacular when it's finished. And it also does not need ironing. Uh, so the next few diamond paintings are going to be fan cells because, like I say, there were 57 of them or 59, I can't remember in the order. So this one I call the Diamond Leopard, and it only has seven different kinds of drills, but it is going to be just incredible. Um, I knew that I would love this, and uh, I don't think I've posted the video for this one yet either, um, but I think it's going to be just fantastic, uh, and it's going to be fun to do, and, you know, what the heck. And this one also does not need any ironing. So, yeah, these fan cells ones came through really, really well. Uh, this one here, I call her the Sunflower Princess, because she's got sunflowers behind her, and she also... I don't think it needs to be ironed. We'll check. Maybe I'll iron her, just for the heck of it. Um, yeah, there are some very soft creases here that you can see. So yeah, let's iron her. Let me put these other ones away. All right. So I've got my very wet cloth here. And... refold it because I put it I hung it up while I um, edited the first part of the uh, ironing and stash review video and um, okay you know what I think I have to turn this up just a wee bit okie dokie so this is not badly wrinkled at all uh, but since I got the iron out uh, I may as well do it. So, there we go. And... Da -da. Yeah, so I think what I'm going to be doing is ironing it first through the um, tea towel and then 
just with the iron because that seems to be what gets me the best results. That is really not warm. That is not even a little bit warm. And yet, the diamond painting is not perfectly flat. So something's working. Oh, the papers. The, the plastic is coming off because uh, the counter's wet. But uh, there, there we go. She's perfect. She's perfect. And look how flat she is. Like that is just a perfect, perfect canvas now. Love it. more of the Fancel special shaped canvases so this one here I call yoga mandala number two and um, it doesn't have a lot of different shapes it's got 12 different special shapes and um, I think it'll be fine and this one I'll iron as well because it does have some very minor creases, just mailing creases to it. So let's, um, let's get those out. If I lay the cloth the right way, I don't have to move it. Yeah, there we go, now we got the sizzle. There we got the sizzle. And this is all sizzle and no steak. But we wouldn't want steak on this. There we go. And I really don't, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty good, I think. As long as it's enough to heat the tea towel, it's generally enough to flatten the diamond painting. So, so what I'm doing now is just drying it. Oh, and there, the paper, or the plastic got stuck to the counter again. All right, so that's that. And um, so it looks like there's some white here, but that's just moisture on the plastic. When you pull it back, there's absolutely nothing. It's perfect. It's perfect, perfect, perfect. So yeah, I just rubbed that off there. It'll dry. So yeah, that's great. I love it. I just I just want to show you. It looks like it's milky here, here, uh, but that is on the plastic. It is not on the diamond painting. The diamond painting, as you see, there's nothing wrong with it. So that is uh, the Buddha. And then this one here, I call Phoenix Special Shapes. And it's number 340, so it's also from Fan Cells. And I think it's going to be very nice to do. And I'm just going to take a, a second to iron it. I got a thirsty doggy. She's drinking all kinds of water right now. She doesn't drink very often during the day. But when she does, she drinks a lot. So let's make sure it's all in camera. pretty quickly I think I'm about half done my first folder of diamond paintings I spent a bit in a little over an hour on the first video and this one will probably be about the same I'd say um, I think from here on in all of the diamond paintings I think are covered in plastic because most of the diamond paintings that I bought on AliExpress uh, that have the paper covers, they're almost all larger sizes than I keep in this uh, folder that I'm working from right now that I'm that I'm showing you. Oh, so so when um, when we get to the end of this folder, then we're going to see some more paper covered diamond paintings. So, but for right now, it's, I think it's all plastic from here on in. So once again, uh, it's just because the, there's, there's some moisture on the counter here. 
Uh, and so that causes the plastic to get a little bit um, uh, milky, but that milkiness wipes away and the canvas is perfect. So that's the Phoenix. And again, some of these I've posted the videos for, a lot of them I haven't. So I call this one Red Angel. It's number 341. Also from Fancells, and there's a cat hair here. There we go. Uh, yeah, also from Fancells, and I had flattened all of these when I did the unboxing video, but apparently I didn't flatten them all perfectly, so let's just do that now. Uh, again, there's just some really, really minor mail increases here. So, I'll iron those out. Yeah, that's nice and hot. Okay. There we go. So, I probably don't need to... Um, like I could just let these dry normally without ironing them dry after I do the wet dry or the wet iron but um, since they're going straight into the folder I would hate for them to get moldy so that's why I want to you know pass the iron over them to dry them out before I put them in the folder there we go Perfect. And well, actually, there's just a little tiny bit of um, just a little tiny bit of mail increase left here. So let me just really get into that to flatten that out. The other mail increase was down here, I think. All right, let's see. Yeah, that's good. And I'm just going to press really, really hard on this. There we go. You know what? I think I might have turned the iron up just a little bit too high because I wasn't getting that cloudiness on the plastic earlier when I was doing it at a lower temperature. So I, I'm just going to turn it down a little bit because I don't want to damage the cover plastic. But you know what? I think, I think it was just a little bit too high because I actually buckled the um, canvas on this so um, so it's important to get the heat just right so my heat is set at uh, the wool setting um, and that seems to be the sweet spot for ironing these canvases Okay, so this one here I call Eagle Profile, and again, from Fancells, and I think this one, I don't think this one really needs ironing, but I'll give it um, a little iron, and I'm just going to wet my cloth again. There we go. So. Now, as long as the cloth is nice and wet, you can iron away to your heart's content because you're not going to burn the diamond painting. Um, which is why I'm, you know, I'm always really careful. Careful when I take the cloth off 
and you know use just the iron on the on the canvas because I'm afraid that if I don't do it just so um, I might melt the canvas a little bit or warp it which is not what I want to do so that's why I go fast when I'm doing this part and something is melting I don't think it's this diamond painting I think it might have been the last diamond painting remember the one that I said was just a little bit um, buckled and I think that these little bits that I'm picking off here are little bits of melted um, canvas so it's really really important yeah I see some more here so I'm just trying to wipe that off my iron there we go okay yeah it's important not to get too hot because the diamond painting will not like that but um, yeah this is good this is good it looks like there's lines here but that's just uh, condensation on or under the plastic uh, the canvas itself is perfect there's nothing wrong with the canvas so but you don't ever want to get um, the iron so hot that it's going to damage the cover plastic because that's not good for your diamond painting okay and I have filled one folder so I'm just gonna pause for a minute I'm gonna put this folder of diamond paintings away and I'm gonna come back and we're gonna start filling a second folder Okay, so I, I got my next pile of diamond tails here to look at. So here we have what I call the Rainbow Leopard Cubs. It's another special shape diamond painting that I got from Fan Cells uh, in February. And again, this one here, there's, it's absolutely perfect on the back. I'm not going to iron it. Um, but I think it's super, super cute. And this one has so many diamonds on it it's got 13 different kinds of diamonds but talk about coverage or diamondage as I call it uh, there are so many diamonds on this this is going to take me a long time to finish okay and then another one from fan cells I call this one toucan and it's also uh, well, all of the ones from Fancels are special shaped. So this one does have a few little creases on the back, so we'll, we'll iron those out. I'll try and iron that corner down flat at the same time. Sometimes they get the corners bent when they're in my folder system. If I put another diamond painting in and it just bends back the corner and I don't notice it, then that's why there's a little bit of a bended or a bent corner. Um, but I don't, um, I don't uh, get them that way. These all arrived in pristine condition. So... Um, yeah, I was so happy with my order from Fancels. It was the first time I ever ordered from them, and before I began uh, to, you know, sort of be, I don't know if I'm a brand ambassador for them, but, you know, we have an, a, a collaboration arrangement now where I pick diamond paintings that I'd like to show on my channel, and they send them to me. But, um, but this was long, long before they ever approached me for that. This was just me. Uh, exploring fan cells and I really really liked what I found they have really really nice diamond paintings um, many of them I mean you know they have diamond paintings that I don't like as well but they have really really nice diamond paintings and their prices are really really good and I don't earn any commission from them just you know in case you're wondering you know why I'm always talking them up I earn nothing from them 
Uh, the only thing that I get is the free diamond paintings. Now, these I paid for. Um, and the reason that I bought so many of them all at once was because they had a discount code at the time, not anymore. But if you ordered uh, 200 pounds worth of diamond paintings, you got 15% um, off. So that's what I did. And yet another one from Fancells. This one is Peacocks. And it is also Special Shapes. And this one has 15 Special Shapes. And it's really nice. I'm looking forward to doing it. And it is pretty much perfect. So I'm not going to mess with the iron on it. There's no sense in ironing something that doesn't need to be ironed. So I'm just putting that away. And then we have another one from Fan Cells. And this one I call Howling Wolf. Also special shapes. This one only has nine different kinds of drills. But there's quite a bit of diamondage on here. So, you know, for the small price that I paid, I, I figured I was, was happy with this. And I don't love wolves. So you won't find a lot of wolves in my collection, although I just ordered one yesterday. Um, but it's a white wolf, and I think it's all, no, it's square drills, I think. I can't remember. Um, but uh, every now and again, I'll come across a wolf that I like, but most wolves don't really do it for me. If you're somebody who loves to see wolf diamond paintings, there's lots of channels out there that, uh, that have a lot of wolves. And, um, and so you, you might be interested in checking them out. Because for me, the wolves are few and far between. There we go. There we go, okay. So I think what might have actually happened is I might have, on that other one, I might have touched my um, iron to uh, the outer plat, like the cover plastic, and maybe that's what got burned onto or melted onto my uh, my iron. Uh, so this is beautiful now. I mean, there's a tiny, tiny little bit of a crease left, but not anything that's going to, you know, um, mar the, the finished product, so I'm not going to fuss with it anymore. All right, so now we are up to 360. Still in the fan cells universe. Pippi. And this one here doesn't have a lot of diamondage, but I didn't care. I thought it was kind of pretty. And this is like a super simple stack. So it has 10 different kinds of drills, not a lot of coverage on the canvas, but um, you know, for someday when I'm feeling, just a sec, I gotta wet my cloth again. So for someday when I'm feeling like, I just wanna do a diamond painting, just an easy one that's gonna make me, you know, happy. Uh, Special shape drills always make me happy. Like I just, I love working with special shape drills. Uh, I love the way special shaped canvases look afterwards. Uh, and you know, they just, they make me happy. So I thought I'm gonna get it and I will have fun with it. And then I will put it away and I will probably never look at it again until it's time to do the retrospective on diamond paintings finished in whatever year it is that I work on it. So, um, there's pennies in my penny bowl for all of these. And so I'll do them whenever the penny gets picked. There we go. Oops. There. Perfect. Perfect. And now it's perfectly flat. Now this, this is another stunning mandala, or mandala, uh, that I call the purple and green mandala. And uh, it's 
a 40 by 40 canvas. So it's 34 by 34, like the diameter of the mandala is uh, 34 centimeters. And this thing is going to be absolutely stunning when it's finished. It has maximum diamond coverage. I'll show you in just a second once I flatten this out a little bit. And I don't know why the plastic is not as flat as I would like, because I'm pretty sure that when I recorded the unboxing videos for these, I uh, flattened the plastic for all of them, but maybe not. Anyway, it um, doesn't really matter which way you look at this, but, uh, but there is so much diamondage. Like, it's insane how many diamonds there are to place on this thing. This is going to keep me busy for hours. And that's one of the things about the special shape diamond paintings that I buy. I often buy them because... Uh, you know, they're easy. I can do them in a day, usually. Um, so they're nice and easy. But at the same time, um, I get a great sense of accomplishment from finishing them. And the drills are just so beautiful that I am delighted while placing every single drill. So, you know, they're not the most sophisticated images. I think uh, when we get to my bigger canvases, that's where I, you know, get, you know, more artistic and I've got a bunch of uh, customs that I've ordered and um, we'll take a look at those as well eventually, not just yet, but um, yeah, because I've still got probably two more big folders of diamonds to go through, of diamond painting canvases to go through in my small canvases um, box. And then I have, uh, then I have my big diamond paintings. So uh, it's gonna take a few more videos to get through all of this, but I'm sure we can do that together. Pretty wet. Pressing nice and hard here because I want to use the benefit of not just heat but of pressure. Oops. And you gotta be careful because you don't ever want to leave your iron in one place for too long because then you'll melt your canvas. And that would not be a good thing. All right, so there we go. This one's ready to drill. Okay, I've already gone 42 minutes. So this one here I call the extraterrestrial. And that's because it looks like, you know, one of those big, big guy monsters that you see in science fiction stories. So I thought he was cute, and there are a lot of diamonds on him too. So yeah, and I, I don't think I've posted this video either. I'm shocked at how few of the videos I've posted. Now for the next one I see, I did post the video, and it, it was the subject of much controversy. And you'll see why in just a moment. Okay. <laughs> Pippi. Oh, I think Pippi does, she wants to come in here, but she doesn't want to walk across the diamond paintings that are on the floor. Okay, so this one now is nice and flat and ready to put away. Come on, baby. Come here. You can come. Okay, so I posted the unboxing video for this recently. And when I got it, I called it Peacock Singing. And then I realized 
when I was doing the unboxing, that's not a peacock. And so I said, well, it kind of looks like a chicken or maybe a rooster, although it doesn't have a comb. And, but I don't think it's a peacock. Um, and so then I got so many comments uh, for this diamond painting. So I got, you know, people thought it was a grouse, people thought it was a turkey. People were very, very assured in their, um, you know, when they, when they identified it, they were very, very certain in their identification. And so I found it amusing because people were so certain in their identification, and yet I got everything from a grouse to a chicken to a turkey to, oh, there was some, one of my patrons gave me the name of, I think it's a, a kind of grouse, but it had the most improbable name. And I can't remember what it was now. And I'm not gonna change the name of my diamond painting because I am not yet 100% sure what kind of bird it is. And besides which, I don't wanna change the name in all the places that I have it because I've got it on my spreadsheet and on my inventory sheet and on the inventory sticker and I've got it all over the place so anyway but I think this one's going to be a lot of fun to do and it's got tons and tons of diamonds so yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be good now the next one is very very large oh okay so this one here I don't remember if I've done the unboxing for it yet. I did the unboxing for three of the five Blushing Blackbird crystal diamond paintings that I got uh, in, I believe it was the spring. I think I ordered them in April or March or something like that. Anyway, uh, I think I've posted three of the unboxing videos so far or two of the unboxing videos so far. And so the others, I just have to find time in my video um, publication schedule to do the rest of them. Um, and this is one that I just love. I call it Sunflower Summer, or maybe that's what... Uh, what... Um, Blushing Blackbird calls it. Now, Blushing Blackbird, when they, they have, uh, I think, limited numbers of their diamond paintings. Uh, I think they have them custom made. And so they're always made in limited quantities. So uh, the last time I checked, which was probably about two weeks ago or so, Blushing Blackbird was still on um, sort of holiday from their Etsy store. And so I think it's Christina Pazera is the, the owner of the Etsy shop. Anyway, she has been on vacation for a while, and so there hasn't it hasn't been possible to buy anything else. But when Christina posts something on Etsy, um, it, it sells out really, really fast. And so this one here, which I think is just absolutely gorgeous, and it's got 33 colors, and like I say, it's 100% crystal. I think it's absolutely stunning and I'm really really looking forward to doing this one when the penny pick for it comes up. I don't know when that's going to be but there you go and this is a 40 by 50. Okay and now we're starting to get into my um, affiliate diamond paintings. So the first company to reach out to me and ask me to uh, to do unboxings for them was GBFKE. Oh my goodness. Pippi's seeing something. I gotta go see what's got Pippi all excited. Well, whatever it was that she was all excited about outside, it is no longer an issue. So GBFKE reached out to me in July, I believe, and asked if I would be interested in uh, choosing some diamond paintings from their store and unboxing them. And so this is one of the first ones. That I picked. I call it Pig's Fly. It's number 383 and um, I really like it. 
it arrived in absolutely pristine condition, so I don't need to do anything with it, except of course drill it when the time comes. And then this was the next one that I got from them. Uh, and this one I call Seahorses. And yeah, this one's round. And again, it arrived in pretty much perfect condition. I'm not gonna iron it because it doesn't need ironing. And then uh, I have number 387, the Chinese Dragon. And this one here, I just love this one. It's kind of a medium-sized diamond painting. It's 54 by 34 drill area. Uh, it has 25 colors. It's a very simplified sort of hand-drawn design. Uh, and yet, I think it is just a gorgeous diamond painting. And so I'm really, really looking forward to doing it. And let's see what's next. Oh, okay, so this one also, oh, this one is from FG Normal because right after GBFKE reached out to me, FG Normal reached out to me and asked me to select a few of their diamond paintings. So I chose this one, which was, uh, at the time it was a new, uh, a new release on their website. And I think I will iron some of these little creases here out of it. So let me put these two GBFKE ones away. Okay. So my cloth is getting dried out again, so it's pretty wet now. Yeah, it's very wet. Okay. And let's just, let's see, yeah. Just wanted to make sure the iron was hot because this iron shuts itself off automatically if you don't touch it for a few minutes which is something I really appreciate as a, you know, to, to uh, guard against fire. But, um, but what it means is sometimes, you know, if you just step away from whatever it is that you're ironing or if you start talking too much, like I have been, uh, it uh, turns itself off while you're nattering away. This one here is very plasticky. Okay, so I'm not going to iron this. Um, yeah, I'm not going to iron this directly. I'm going to iron it only with, you know, I'm going to get another tea towel. So I'll use this dry tea towel to, um, sort of be in between the iron, the direct heat, and the canvas, because whatever that canvas is made out of, it does not like direct heat applied to it. So I, I do want to, I, I, like I want to iron it. Yeah, see, this is sticking to it a little bit. Okay. So yeah, I'm just going to let this dry naturally, not worry too much. I'm just scratching off the, uh, the little bits of melted canvas. And actually, I don't know if it's from this or from the previous one that I ironed. I suspect it's from this one. I just want to dry it out on this side because this side was still quite wet. Yeah, and this side's still quite wet too, so, okay. All right, so, I mean, it's not that there's anything wrong with the canvas. There is nothing wrong with the canvas. Uh, it's just that this one you have to be particularly careful with when you're ironing it. And so I'm not going to mess with it anymore because I don't want to damage it. And then this one here is also, oh, this one is from Craftsy Art. So within like a week or two, I got approached by a whole bunch of different diamond painting companies. And that was when I hit 4,000 subscribers. Um, and when I hit 3,000 subscribers, 
uh, I got approached by a few diamond painting companies that you know asked me would I you know would I like to try out some of their products and do reviews and um, and I said sure you know like I'd check out the store and I'd and I'd order whatever and um, and then I'd do a review and usually that was the end of it but um, since I got 4,000 subscribers uh, the companies that have approached me they've continued to work with me after you know that initial review that I would do so uh, so that's good for me and it's good for them so with craftsy art uh, which is this one as well so it's the last one and this one and I think the next one as well uh, I have a discount code with them so if you ever go shopping on the Craftsy Art website, you can use code RAMBLINGROSE and you will get a 15% discount. On, uh, wait a minute. No, you'll get a 6% discount on anything you buy. So um, it's, it's a good deal for you uh, if you see something you like. And I'm pretty sure that beyond a certain uh, minimum, and I can't remember what the minimum is, they offer free shipping. So, you know, if you buy below that that threshold, uh, you pay for shipping. And anything over that trip, like as soon as you cross that uh, threshold, you get your order shipped for free. So, and if you use code Rambling Rose, you also get six percent off. So, um, it's totally worth it to you know save up and buy as much as you want like buy a bunch of things all at once so yeah this one here also uh this is a very plasticky canvas which is not a problem like it, it doesn't mean anything bad for doing the diamond painting it just means that um it's like i can feel it's sticky now uh from the wetness so i just want to be really careful with these canvases but it came through um, the ironing there just perfectly. So this is the third Craftsy Art canvas. And this one here is in really good shape. So I am not going to iron it. Um, but anyway, so I call this one White Flowers. And it's kind of like a computer generated, almost, not a fractal, but almost a fractal. And now with uh, the GBFKE, like from that GBFKE and onward. Uh, oh, and here's the second order, I think, from GBFKE. Um, so all of these video, all of these diamond paintings that you're going to be seeing now, they all have videos on, like I have videos for all of these unboxings on YouTube. And uh, yeah, so, so this one here, it came through shipping perfectly, so I don't need to iron and this one was my first order from new homey and I got to tell you new homey they just impressed me again and again and again um, and unfortunately this weekend as I'm recording this it's November 27th so so it is Black Friday today and new homey has a big sale on for Black Friday but there's a problem with their website so I hope they get that sorted out. Uh, and New Homey is another store that uh, I'm an affiliate with. And so I have a discount code with them. You can use Rambling Rose and get a 15% discount on anything you buy at New Homey. Um, so, um, so again, that's a really good deal. And I really like this. It is a round drill diamond drill. Pippi. And uh, it's, it's just about pristine, so I'm not going to iron that one either. And then this was another one that I found at New Homey. I call it Ginkgo Leaves. It's number 413 in my inventory. And again, look, it's perfect. So we don't need to iron that. I think this is just so, so beautiful. When I saw it, I fell in love with it. And again, if you search my channel for number sign 413, uh, you'll get the unboxing video that includes this. And here we 
we have uh, what I call paper heart. Now this is one that um, I have seen on a whole bunch of different diamond painting websites and I've always been interested in it and I can't I think it's called quilling this uh, this paper paper curling art I think it's called quilling um, I, I've never done it but I just think the picture is so beautiful and so when I saw it on the new homie site I thought yep I'm gonna order that and I think it's gonna render really nicely like sure it's a little tiny bit pixelated but I think it's gonna look fantastic and this one here, I'm going to iron it because it's just a little bit uh, like those mail increases from, you know, when they roll it to slide into the, um, mailing envelopes that they use, you know, those padded envelopes. Uh, it's just a little tiny bit. I'm just checking the bottom of my iron to see whether there's any residue on it. Looks okay. It's a Teflon coated iron, so shouldn't have any problem. All right, so I just want to iron those three or four creases out. And I think I need to switch my um, tea towel because I think it's getting residue like plastic residue from some of the other diamond paintings on it and so my iron is not sliding across it as smoothly as I would hope okay that's it so that this is now perfectly flat it's beautiful and that did not leave any residue on my iron so yeah it's time to switch out my tea towel so i will be back in a moment okay so um a friend of mine gave me a set of three tea towels uh, they all are the same sort of style but they have different fruits and vegetables on it this is pomegranates and um, so these tend to be the tea towels that I use as long as they're clean for whatever I need tea towels for in my kitchen. All right, so the next one is also from New Homie and this is one that I call Koala and isn't he cute? I think he's so cute. And I mean, there are just the softest of mail increases here. I'm not going to iron that because it's not going to affect the way the diamond painting looks when it's done. And laying drills on it will probably help to flatten that out even more. So I'm not going to bother with ironing it. And then we have one that I misnamed Horus and one of my patrons corrected me and said it's actually Anubis or Anubis and so I have fixed the name on everything except on the label uh, anyway I was I wasn't sure how he would turn out he turned out a little bit pixelated well kind of a lot pixelated so this is not one that um, I think will look good when it's done but what the heck I'll do it anyway when the number comes up because if I recall correctly uh, everything else about this one was really good like the printing on the canvas was really good the um, the drills were good at least they looked that way you can never really say for sure until you actually start working with the drills but it looked like it was good so this is one that again I have seen uh, offered for sale on AliExpress where you can buy it in larger sizes and I do like the image I just don't like it in this size so and you know what I am gonna iron it just to get those you know very light creases 
from mailing off of it. And um, yeah, this this will be fine. Oh yeah, the, the iron just slides so much better along this one than on the other one. The other one I think just had so much residue from the other diamond paintings. So. Okay. So that's another reason to, you know, keep something in between your diamond painting or at least to, uh, to clean your iron uh, in between diamond paintings is because there is residue on the canvases and, um, and that'll stick to your iron. So if you have a piece of cloth that you use, um, that will sort of serve as a cleaning uh, uh, tool for your iron so that any residue that you get from one diamond painting comes off on the cloth. So that didn't come out perfectly, but I'm not going to fuss with it because, again, I don't want to do damage to these diamond paintings. And I'm just afraid that, you know, like those creases are not bad. But if I damage the canvas because, you know, I aggressively iron, then that's not going to be good. And I'll end up with a canvas that looked better before I started ironing it. Okay. So here's another one from New Homie. And this is Princess Jasmine, and it's a stained glass diamond painting. And I was actually really surprised with how good I, it looks. Um, I wasn't sure how it would turn out. It turned out great. So I really, really like it, and um, I'm glad I got it. And let's see. This one here, it's perfect. I'm not going to iron it. Now, this one here, I have a thing about jellyfish. And this is one that I got from, we have a handle on this. It's a Kitchener, Ontario diamond painting company. Well, it's a, they make pens, they make custom pens. And they're just down the highway from, from me. And so I've been buying their pens for about a year and a half or so. And then they got into the diamond painting. Uh, business as well. So now they sell diamond paintings and they get customs made of uh, copyright free diamond paintings. So this here is an uh, image that came from NOAA, the North, I can't remember. It's anyway, it's a US government agency and all of the images on their website are copyright free. Uh, they actually double checked before they had a diamond painting made of this image and they were, it was confirmed to them. So uh, I don't know if they have any more of these in stock right now, but I really loved it. And so uh, I ordered it and uh, I will be drilling this when I get, uh, when the, the coin for it comes up. So this is a big project. So it'll be when I pick the quarter or the nickel uh, that has its number on it. So this is number 427 in case you wanna take a look uh, and search for the diamond painting for that or the unboxing video for that and then this one here uh, I got from everyday e uh, everyday e deals so this is another company that approached me after I got my 4,000th subscriber and they asked me you know what I do an unboxing of a couple of diamond paintings or one diamond painting for them I couldn't remember I can't remember now and so I saw this one and I thought, yeah, I'd like to do that one. So uh, it's a map of the world. And um, and I understand that Tasmania is missing from uh, this area here. So I told the viewer who pointed that out to me that when it comes time to drill this, I'll look at a map, figure out where Tasmania is, and put some drills down to represent Tasmania so that Tasmania is not forgotten. Um, but I thought it was just beautiful. And so this one here, again, as soon as the number for it comes up, I'm gonna happily work on this. And it arrived in perfect condition, so I don't need to iron this. Or maybe I did iron it at one point, I can't remember. 
but it doesn't need ironing now because there was a while uh, a little while ago where when I got diamond paintings that had uh, creases in them I was doing the ironing at like when I opened them and so I might already have ironed that one and this one here it's also perfect and this one came from GBFKE so I really like this one and again I'm just waiting for it to come up in a penny pick holy smokes I think when I finish this small pile here I'm gonna call it a night for this um, and we'll uh, we'll come back to this maybe tomorrow after I um, after I finish working on my my next unboxing video uh, so this here came from GBFKE and it is a peacock special shape number 436 in case you want to check out the unboxing video for this it's got 11 different kinds of drills and I think I already ironed this one I don't know I can't remember but it's in really good shape so I'm not going to touch it and here we have another one from GBFKE these are two more Chinese dragons and I just love this one so this is what I call like an intermediate size it's uh, 53 by 34 drill area it has 25 colors it's very stylized and yet I think it is impactful it is just a beautiful diamond painting uh, I really really like Asian art so and then I was really going big on the dragons for a while there and so I got this one too from GBFKE and this is another Chinese dragon and uh, this one's Chinese dragon number three and it's 54 by 34 and again I just love the delicacy of the lotuses around the outside and like it this just reminds me of something that you would see on a porcelain vase uh, and and I just I fell in love with it when I saw it and I had it in my cart for quite a while uh, at GBFKE before I finally ordered it because I wanted to be sure before I ordered another Chinese dragon I wanted to be sure that I really really wanted it well I really really wanted it so I gave in and I got it and I didn't show you the back of that one but it also was in perfect condition uh, so this one here I think they're beta fish I don't know fish but people tell me they're beta fish and this is a partial so it's uh, round drills partial I also got it from GBFKE I can't remember if I knew it was a partial or not I may have I may have just decided what the heck I'll, I'll order it because I kind of like the, the image there was a period where I was going through a fish stage as well and I bought a whole bunch of fish diamond paintings uh, some of them are very big ones which is why we're not seeing them here because they're in my big projects folder um, but yeah I bought a whole bunch of fish and I bought at least two uh, of an 85 or 95 by 45 canvas of um, beta fish uh, identical I just forgot that I had ordered it already and so I ordered it again because I loved it so much anyway uh, these are very very nice uh, the canvas is in pretty good shape I suppose I can iron it what the heck I think I'll wet my cloth again oh my auto off is flashing so have to shake my iron a little bit so that it knows that I need it to turn back on all right there we go now this might not be hot enough yet let's see hmm. I don't think I really need a lot of heat on this because it's not badly creased from mailing and these are not creases like we saw on those paper covered diamond paintings that I opened early on uh, in my first video um, on ironing uh, because those ones they had creases that would not come out 
Whereas these ones that have the plastic covers, the creases are coming out very, very nicely. So, um, so I'm actually really, really happy to see that. There we go. Yeah, the iron's nice and hot now. Hear that sizzle. Okay. So I'm just going to quickly run the iron over this. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Yeah. Nice and flat. It's perfect. Here's a sea turtle, special shapes diamond painting that I got, and it I think it looks really good. Um, it does have a little bit, just very, very soft creases in it, and now normally I wouldn't iron this for myself because I'm not going to put this up, but uh, if you were to buy something like this and it had these little creases in it here these mailing creases which are not going to flatten out uh, on their own and if you didn't iron it then what would happen is that forever after you would have these slight mailing creases in your diamond painting so if you were to frame it or whatever there would be those creases so we're going to iron those creases out so that we never have to worry about that now i don't like i say i don't frame my diamond paintings i only frame the ones that i give away although i just ordered a bunch of poster frames from aliexpress um like poster hangers uh for the 11.11 sale they haven't shipped yet and i've had to extend the shipping time the processing time twice already because I don't want to get refunded I want the poster hangers um, so I got to check again actually to make sure that uh, that they shipped or that they haven't shipped so that I can extend the processing time again um, but uh, because I do want to start hanging some of my diamond paintings that turned out nice. Oh yeah. Okay, that's perfectly flat. That is really, well, you know what? I'm gonna iron it just a little bit. That's sticky. So, I'm not gonna iron it directly with the iron. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this in between between the heat and the canvas because uh, that's that's a fairly plasticky canvas I think so I don't want to apply heat directly to it um, so this side now is perfectly flat so I just want to make sure that the other side is perfectly flat And here we go. I'm pressing really, really hard. Okay, I think that should do. Yeah. Yeah, those mail increases are no more. So when this diamond painting gets done, uh, you see how you can't tell? Where those creases were anymore because they are not there anymore they are this is a crease free canvas isn't that beautiful it's beautiful yippers so this is number 443 in case you want to search for the unboxing video and i think i only have two more three more diamond paintings here so this one here uh, 444 is Beach Villas. I got this one from Your Best Deals. So this was another company that shortly after 
I uh, got my 4,000 subscribers. They got in touch with me and asked if I would like to do uh, some unboxings for them. And so I have done, I think I've had, I've placed two orders with them. And uh, so I do the unboxings. I do do like all of my unboxings. I give my honest opinion. Now I like to be diplomatic, um, but anybody who's watched more than two or three of my videos will know when I don't like a diamond painting or when I think that, you know, there's something a little bit off about it. This one here I was actually pretty happy with. I did the same image in about this size and it turned out surprisingly good. This is square drill. It turned out surprisingly good in, I think it was like 19 by 24 or something like that. Um, clearly in, this is 44 by 34 drill area. So in a 34 by, or 44 by 34 drill area, it's gonna be considerably better. Like this is almost, uh, I'd say it's at least three times as big as the other one and going on four times as big as the one that I did before. So this one has a lot more detail to it. Um, and I think I'm going to like this one even better. Like I say, the little tiny one, it looked terrible up close, but from a distance, you could still see everything uh, that you were supposed to see. So, um, like, you know, you could tell that there were stairs, you could see the picket fence here, uh, the, the tree was good. I was shocked at how good the tiny one looked. This is gonna look so, so, so much better because it's a much, much bigger size. And it arrived with no mail increases, so I'm not gonna mess with this. All right, the second last one we're gonna do tonight is uh, called, it's number 447, and it's rooster number four. So this is my fourth rooster diamond painting. And this one is also from Your Best Deals. And it is a round drill diamond painting. It has 20, 25 colors. And it has a tiny, tiny little mail increase here. I'm not sure that it's worth ironing it out, but what the heck, we'll iron it out. So I'm just going to place this here and I'm gonna focus here and here. And I'm gonna try and leave the rest of the diamond painting untouched because there's nothing wrong with the rest of the canvas in terms of, you know, there being any creasing whatsoever. And that creasing was so minor that it really, I didn't really need to, to do anything. I'm just gonna go over it once more. There we go. That's it. That's it. There. So those creases are completely gone. And this diamond painting will look fantastic when it's done. And finally, our last diamond painting. So this one came from New Homey. I call it Seaside Village. I think it might be called Beach Villa. I can't remember what it's called on the website. Um, if you want to look for it, the unboxing video that it was in. This is number 450. So if you put a number sign 450 when you're in my channel, uh, it'll it'll bring it up. And um, this one here, it looks okay, but it's a little pixelated, I think. But it doesn't look bad. This is a square drill as well. And I actually thought it would turn out better than the other Seaside Village. Uh, the, the other seaside villa or beach villa, whatever, that other one that we just looked at. And, um, and I'm surprised because it doesn't look quite as good as the other one. But it's still nice. And I think the drills, like the drills looked good when I was um, doing the unboxing for it. This one does not need ironing. So we're not going to iron it. 
And uh, yeah, so whenever this one comes up, I'll do it. And then we'll see what it looks like when it's finished. So that's it for today, everybody. I think I have at least one more video to make of my, you know, smallish canvases. And um, so I'll, I'll record that hopefully tomorrow. Um, today's November 27th as I'm recording this. This video will probably not be public until sometime in December. I'm not sure exactly when. Uh, so the next one will probably be either, you know, late-ish December or early January. And then there's probably at least two or three more of these videos uh, that I'll record as soon as I can. And they will be released probably, you know, in the first month or two of the new year. Okay, everybody. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it calming. Uh, I hope you didn't find it boring. But if you did, then you're, you haven't stuck around till the end. So you're not even hearing this uh, because you're gone. Uh, but uh, I'd love to know who did stick around to the end. <laughs> so leave me a comment down below uh, and tell me, you know, do you like this format? Is this something you would like me to continue for the rest of my diamond paintings? Because there are hundreds more diamond paintings that I have to show you uh, if you do like this. Um, so yeah, so let's, uh, let's just leave it at that for tonight. I want to thank all of my wonderful patrons, uh, who support my channel with their generous contributions every month. And I also want to thank all of my subscribers and viewers, whether you su have subscribed or not. But if you haven't subscribed yet, please take a minute and subscribe to my channel. And uh, you can ask for notifications by ringing the bell and then you'll know every time I post a new video, you can click on the notification and bang, you'll be right there in my video. Okay, you take care. I love you. Bye-bye.